What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a super useful tool, especially if you're a power user or power optimizer. As you probably know by now, I've showed you how to use DDU for a fresh install of your graphics driver and how to customize your NVIDIA graphics driver using NV Clean Install. You can get some extra performance by removing things that you don't necessarily need from your graphics card driver installation. And this video is going to show you another super useful tool. So as you're probably aware, doing it yourself manually can take some time, especially if you're going to do it with every driver update. However, there is a completely free tool, which I'll be showing you called NV Updater, which allows you to customize everything as you would hope, and it should do it all automatically. My laptop that I'm currently connected to does have an outdated graphics driver, so we should see how this thing works its magic pretty shortly. Head across to the link down below, scroll down until you find this over here. Click that text to be taken to the download page and choose download over here. Then save it and you can run the setup once it's done downloading. We'll click yes, accept, next. Choose a place to install it and click through it until it's done installing. And it just reminds you that this is a beta piece of software that may have errors. Report them on their homepage, launch, and there we go. Once the software is done installing, you'll see something like this pop up if there's an update available. But for now, I'll ignore this and pretend it didn't pop up. And instead, from the tray down here, we'll right click this icon and choose options to customize how things look. Let's just ignore that pop up for now. Settings, we can choose to start it with Windows, update this app automatically, and enable log files and stuff like that, but we'll head across to driver options over here, but we can customize our NVIDIA driver. Now hovering over things here does sort of tell you what other parts rely on and what removing these could cause, but for the most part, only check things that you're absolutely sure you can remove, for example, like the NVIDIA GeForce experience. If you previously followed my NV Clean install guide, everything is covered in extreme detail there. The names here just don't seem quite as self-explanatory. I'd also recommend ticking silent install to not have to click through the installer once it's done downloading, and that's it. Once you've ticked a bunch of things that you want to remove, click OK, and now your settings have been saved, you can reopen the app and head down to Schedule, where you can change the update checker between every six hours to every day, etc. Every day is about as long as you can get this thing to go. And finally, on the Fixes tab, if you run this program as admin, you can enable or customize the full slash limited color range, which you can also do inside of the NVIDIA control panel. Anyways, I've customized this to, let's say, my liking. Let's see, removing a couple more of these things that's probably good enough for this laptop. I'll click OK, and we're now done here. We'll click OK, and eventually, when a driver update is detected, it'll pop up like this. As we're using an outdated version, there's a new one out. So we can click install or download only. For now, I'll click install to download the actual thing, which should be relatively quick. And eventually once it's done, it should start extracting and customizing our installation, which could take some time, depending on the speed of your system. And of course your hard drive or SSD speed, we can install it. And there you go. As we had the silent installation ticked, it's gonna click through everything automatically, but it seems like that hasn't been done for us. So maybe this pop-up came up with our previous settings in it already. So maybe I should have closed the pop-up if one came up beforehand, then customized it, saved it, exited the application by right-clicking it here and choosing exit or checking for an update again. And that could have fixed things, I suppose. Anyways, for now it's installing a default version of the driver. I don't think I can cancel it as I've already started it. Oh, wait, maybe we'll do what you're not supposed to do. Uh, him. Okay. Closing the tool by right-clicking it and choosing exit, then reopening it from our start menu. It should check for an update again. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Install. Now it should download and customize it properly using our settings. And shortly after, the silent install should do everything for us. There we go. Yeah, that's working as expected. It's now installing in the background. And of course, we can't really monitor its progress as it's silently installing in the background. We can just see that there's things happening on the disk and with our processor. But anyways, that's really it. Once this is done, your screen may flash black as it usually does with a NVIDIA graphics update slash install. There we go. So it's done installing. The screen flashed a couple times and now our NVIDIA driver is up to date, all customized and things like that. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.